Hey guys, MC Stu here. Another uh, STO video how to. I'm um, just going to do a real basic um, guide or description, I guess you could say, on setting up uh, keybinds on uh, Star Trek Online here. Um, it took me a little while to figure it out, um, and it's been a little while as well, and that's partially why I'm not going to go real in depth on uh, how to use this software that I found. So, just to start with, right off the bat, um, I did use a software to create. The keybind files, the software is not active, does not run while the game is running. It just creates the uh, document uh, for you and supplies you with uh, the code or the, the link that you'll put into the chat box. It also places the file in the uh, Star Trek Online uh, files um, so that that'll all work properly. So it is not a, a third party software that is running, you know, while the game is running. It's basically just a help tool. Um, so you don't have to dig into the coding. Um, from what I understand, it's not real complicated. I have some experience with, you know, basic, you know, different kinds of coding and I'm sure I could figure it out. But, uh, as you know, if you play Star Trek, there's plenty of stuff to, uh, figure out and do. And that's probably not what everybody wants to spend time learning about. But um, I encourage you to explore the software more. Um, it was, a, I don't want to say it was hard. There just isn't really any kind of info on using the software. So I will make a follow-up on that once I uh, uh, do a little refresher for myself. But at a minimum, I just wanted to uh, get out the um, resources that are out there. This software, it's STO Keybinds is what it's called. And then I'll also put down, uh, I'll put in the description a link where you can download that. And then I will also um, put in uh, the description uh, two links to my two keybind files, um, which are not super complicated ones. There's probably better setups. In fact, I know there is. Um, I'm gonna redo mine at some point, but it works for me for now. And you know, if you don't have any and you're you're looking to, um, you know, do something like that, then um, this will get you started. And then you can play with the software. And uh, you know, it looks like the sky's the limit in terms of uh, making keybinds. Um, so I made a, a, a ground and a space one. Um, for space, um, I used the space bar. If any of you guys watch my stream, you'll hear me beating that bar uh, to death uh, while I'm playing, um, which isn't exactly necessary, but in any case. Um, and then on the ground, I, um, I tied it to my tab key, and that was just what was comfortable for me um, since I you know, use the X button a lot to aim kind of have to twist my hand anyways that made my pinky fit right onto the tab key when I needed it to you can play with the software and you can change those you know keys to whatever you want to so that's just what I did and like I said I'll supply um, the, those two files um, and I'm going to show you how to uh, how to use them as well with the software to get everything working for you uh, once you do that or Prior to putting it into the game, um, you can load those files in. So you're starting with what I'm using, and then you can modify that as well. Save it, and then you know put that into the game. Um, you know if there's other buttons or other things that that fit you. So um, I'll start with the ground since that is where I'm at. Um, and essentially, what I did is I tied the tab key when I click that, and I'll just go up here. It activates row four, and I will do that now. So one click is the first box, next click, and the third one. Now you could fit the, fill this whole bar up and continue to click and it would just start to activate them. Um, I've seen people make keybinds, ground and space, where you'll click the button one time and it'll activate the whole bar. Um, there's, some, there's some nuances to doing that and I'm sure you've noticed you know, when, when you're playing, if you're clicking abilities too fast, it takes a moment for them to activate, a half second or so, and that you know the next one you're clicking in some cases you have to um, you know press it again um, so there's some workarounds in terms of the key binds pressing a button and activating a whole row where it basically will pause or it does something basically to delay in between clicking each one of those um, so I've seen people use multiple rows um, different combinations some repeats of the same ability especially in space um, so there's certain things they want to keep up all the time. They're getting close to the end and then they'll use, you know, the second key bind and that's their alpha strike uh, for lack of a better term. Some of the longer cooldown items that really give you a big boost. Um, so anyways, before I get too far off track there, uh, again, ground, um, I'm just tapping and these are the abilities I'm activating. You can put anything you want up there. Um, and again, you can even make multiple so you can make, you know, another button for row five, put stuff there and have the same kind of thing happening. Some people will tie like all their heels to one and their buffs to another. 
Um, these are the three that I'm using. Uh, one of them is the actual uh, ability, the uh, target optics. Um, and then I am using also deadly intent and trajectory bending. And I try and keep those up as much as possible. They refresh pretty quick, at least uh, the two kit uh, modules uh, ones do. Um, so I can keep those up quite a bit and it makes a big difference for me. The rest of them, I just use the clicks as, as need be. Um, so let's take a look at the software here. Um, so you'll actually come over to this site here and I will put that in uh, in the description. You'll download the file. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that again. Uh, next, you'll get the file. Self-explanatory. You're going to click on that. It's going to load itself in. And this is what you'll get here. I put it in my, my start menu uh, quick buttons here. So here's what the software looks like. And it's pretty straightforward. You can you know, do it from scratch, um, add a key, set again. I haven't messed with this since I originally made it, so I'm not going to go into detail on that until I do a little refresher for myself. But essentially, I was able to you know pick keys here, and then what I wanted to do over here is a bunch of preset kind of stuff. So it makes it pretty pretty easy. Um, but again, for this video, I'm showing you where to get the software, install is just you know installing the file takes two seconds um, and then implementing the uh, the two files that I have so uh, once you download the software and then the the two files that we're going to use um, which are uh, like I said I'm going to put in the description a ground and a um, uh, space one okay so for ground and it's going to be the same process for either one it is important that when you do ground um, you're on the ground when you implement it and when you do the space you're in space um, so that does make a difference so just make sure when you're doing either one of those that um, is where you're located uh, so we're going to open the file and I put these in the download folder did I? yes I did okay so for ground I'm going to click the ground file and I'll, I'll label these better in the description so it's it's very clear what they are. Uh, I'm going to open. Um, and then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to create the file, which is this one here, create keybind file. And what this does is it takes that file and it puts it into um, your um, Star Trek Online system files. Next what you're going to do is click copy to clipboard. Um, clipboard. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go into the game. Again, you want to be on ground. And you're going to control V, paste that in there. And so what this has is the command for loading the keybind file and the location. I'm not going to hit enter. Um, well, I will. I don't know if that'll mess anything up since I already have it done. But let's go ahead and just do that. And then as soon as you do that, it'll just work and you're done um, you do not have to do that every time you log in it's not like the parser or any of that kind of thing so once you do that you're done i do have two gaming computers and um, I, I did have to load that software i want to say on the other one so it doesn't transfer because it's modifying the, your your files on a particular computer so for some reason you know you play in multiple places or something you'll have to do that on both um, but in any case, pretty straightforward. So um, let's go ahead and jump up to space, and we will basically do the same exact thing again. See if we get a quick load here. There we go. All right. And I'm sorry, my HUD is all messed up. I have a real wide monitor here, and it... Uh, should have had that together first but let's go ahead and let's put this in the middle of the screen okay so I'm using a second bar and you don't have to do that I like to be able to see you know what my cooldowns are are I have basically row 7 tied to um, to my space bar um, you don't have to do that I mean you could you don't have to look at it I like to see what's happening just so I can kind of time things out the way I want to when I'm you know, fighting, I'm normally constantly clicking this row. 
And then, you know, when I'm getting closer to the boss, I'm going to use some of my other, you know, abilities here. And I'm going to, I'm going to wait for these to cool down or stop using it um, just before I get to that, that end boss. And then um, use that row in conjunction with some of the, you know, the heavier, better abilities that you have for damage output. Um, so, again, this is going to be spacebar activating row 7. And, again, you're just clicking and it's going. Yes, I have my fireworks in that because I love it. Um, okay, so uh, we're going to do the same thing again. Now we're going to open the space file. Uh, let's see here. Downloads. Spacebar. Open. We're going to create bind file, which again places it in your game files. You're going to copy to the clipboard. And we're going to go ahead and paste that in there. Make sure nothing extra. Yep, keybind load file. Okay. And enter. And that is all there is to it. Pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, again, what I have is very, very simplistic. There's others that use more complicated stuff. There's some people that just use a couple things. I've seen a few people, and I'm kind of leaning towards this, maybe doing two maybe three i don't have too much problems with dying but you know if you need a basically an oh shit button to start firing some of that stuff off you could you know make one for for heals um you could do i've seen some where you know they have the abilities they always want running and then they'll have let's say row eight tied to another one and it'll have the same exact abilities but at the end or somewhere in there it'll include you know some of the some of the more uh you know powerful buffs and so if if you hadn't waited for row seven to cool down all the stuff in there and you start activating row eight, some of that stuff's not going to be ready. So you still have to time it out because, you know, you're using two attack pattern betas, but it's actually the same one. So it just gives you two different options for firing off combinations of things. So one row can be, you know, what you want running just as much as possible. These are all fairly quick uh, cooldowns. They're able to, I'm able to keep them up almost 100% of the time with the ox to bat setup. Um, but some of these others, they have a two minute cooldown and there's nothing you can do about that. It's just how it is. Um, so you could have a row eight that has all these same things along with some of the, like I said, more powerful ones before you get to the boss, you're waiting for these to cool down, maybe stop using those abilities a few seconds before, and then start clicking the key for row eight. That is your more powerful abilities and also includes all of these. Um, or, you know, you could just do row eight with just the powerful abilities and, you know, click row seven and then click row eight when you're ready. So, I mean, it, it's just kind of endless what you can do with that. The software, um, it was very straightforward to use. I, uh, I just didn't have um, time today to do a refresher there so I could go into more detail and be accurate. So uh, I will do that and um, I'll, I'll make a follow up video. I just wanted to get this one out. Uh, it was really more so for uh, someone I was trying I'm trying to help out with a with a build and. I think this is going to be helpful for him. Um, so I will do a follow-up video that's a little more in-depth. So uh, nice, easy, pretty straightforward there. So uh, if you have questions, please put them in uh, the comments. And I appreciate if you subscribe and give it a thumbs up there. Uh, until next time, guys, have a good one.